So we're here in the test store. We can tell because it's the TEST after Cato State here in the URL. We have defined our product. We have defined the categories that product is in, and we've added attributes to that product. Before we look at reports, let's actually go to the public store, again, a test public store, see what the end user sees, and actually purchase a test product so we can then look at the reports of that product. So I'll click public store, which takes us here. That takes us to this page. At any point, we can go into the administration side by clicking administration. What I'm gonna do now, however, is roll over the counties and we'll see the product that we've already defined, this Wapalo County Workshop. We have the main category as Wapalo County Test. We have the logo in here, and then we have a subcategory of Wapalo County Workshops Test. When I click that, I get this. We get the only product we have in this category. If there was more than one product in this category, they would all be here. We could sort them by position, alphabetical order, price, and so on. The number to display per page, and whether we want it as a grid or a list. If I click either the Wapalo County Tech Workshop or Add to Cart, it takes us here. And here is the product that we've set up in previous tutorials, Wapalo County Tech Workshop. Here's the brief description, the date, the time, and where it's at. No one's reviewed the product. Here's availability, 25 in stock. If you remember, we set this up when we were first setting up the product in the inventory section where we said there were 25 products, in this case, 25 seats in the workshop available. We didn't upload an image or multiple images of the product, so there's nothing here on the left. I've already added in these two fields, my first and last name and my email address. These are the required fields that we set up as product attributes in this product. Here is the non-required product attribute that we set up. Will you be bringing your own laptop? So we'll add this to the cart. And then we'll go to the top of the page in the upper right and go to our shopping cart which gives us everything we've bought in the shopping cart so far. We can remove it by using this checkbox and clicking update. We can change the quantity by changing the quantity up here in the quantity dialog box and clicking update. We will go ahead and simply agree with the terms of service and check out. Our order summary is right here in the upper right hand corner, the Wapalo County Tech Workshop, price of $25. We don't have a shipping method option because we did not include shipping method on the product attribute. The address billing address is included here by default, uh, but we don't need this for shipping. We may need this later for our purchase details. If I wanna add anything to that, I can do so and then update. Our payment method is credit card. Again, we're in the test store which only allows the credit card payment option in real life, and I'll show this to you after we go through this test screen. We also have the option of checks here. So now that I have credit card checked, I'll add credit card details, and this screen shows up. The cardholder name is Jeffrey Wood. The card number for the test store, you can simply use a four followed by 15 ones for a total of 16 numbers. The expiration date just has to be after the present. So this is uh, February of next year. The uh, CVV is 999. We're not gonna bother saving the credit card number. We'll click next. And we've now bought the product in the test store. We're now here in the real store. There's no test after the Kahlo state here in the URL. I'm gonna buy an actual product here. I'll go to counties. I'll go to Douglas County, Colorado Master Gardener. And here we have a page very similar to the one that we set up for our own tech workshop. I'll add this Master Gardener apprentice training fee to my cart. I need to add my name right here. This is again an attribute that was added to this product, this is a product attribute asking for the first and last name. So with the name and the add to cart, I'll check out much as I do with any other online store by clicking my shopping cart in the upper right hand corner. 
My quantity here is two. I'll change that to one and update my shopping cart. I'll continue down. Here's a spot for a discount code. Again, this is a product attribute that can be added uh, to your product in the dashboard. I'll agree with the terms of service and check out. Here as with the last example, our order summary is in the upper right here. The address is pre-populated with what the CSU Extension Store knows about me through my registration. And here's the main reason we came here. In the test store, we only had the option for credit card, but here in the actual store, we have check and money order as an option. And when I click that, I get this message. This tells me where to send it. I'll click continue. And I'm not going to click confirm because I'm not actually joining the class, but that is how to work with a check or money order in the CSU Extension online store.